Hello! Uh, I thought it'd be fun to show what I'm working on, so that's what I'm doing. I'm doing what everyone else is doing, which is working on a real-time ray tracer. Um, voxel. Shock horror. <laughs> um, but it's kind of cool, because it's running on my GTX 750 Ti, which is mid-range 2014 hardware, so it's actually kind of useful, I guess you could say. Um, so I'm hitting about 40 FPS here with three direct lights, one reflection ray, and one bounce lighting ray. So that's cool. So yeah, I'll start to move around and stuff like that. So, you know, it works. Um, I don't know what else to say about it, really. <laughs> I've also been working on some cloth simulation. Woo! I pushed it, and it goes clop. It's pretty good stuff. Right, so I guess I'll show what it's doing, I guess. Um... I've got some code window up here so I can edit stuff as I go. Um, so first thing is uh, global illumination. So let's say I turn off global illumination and the reflection ray. <clears throat> and you can see, you know, it looks kind of different, uh, surprisingly <laughs> enough. So you know, like this, I do get a better frame rate, unsurprisingly. So I'm able to do about three uh, direct lights. Without much difficulty, I hit 60 FPS, which is nice. That's a good thing to hit. Um, and you can see, like, it's all completely in real time, as you can see. So that's cool. <laughs> Got these cubes going about. Don't ask why. Anyway, so that's that. Um, but it looks a lot better with GI, of course, so I'll turn that back on. And yeah, now it's all slow and kind of noisy. Cool. Ah, <laughs> uh, jeez. But, uh, yeah, so, I don't know. I don't know what to show. It's, I don't know. Here, I'll, I'll make the, uh, the beads glow a bit. That'll be kind of fun. There we go, now they're glowing blue. That's kind of cool, isn't it? So the reason this runs pretty decently is pretty much just aggressive, important sampling. Um, so the main lights, this guy, this guy, and the one out here, they're all important samples. And then after that, I also shoot a global illumination ray, which of course ignores them if it hits them. Um, the global illumination is stored inside the voxels, so I get theoretically infinite bounces of light, so that's kind of fun. Um, and yeah, and it's all updated in real time. You know, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I had all these things I would say when I first planned to record this, but now that I'm here, I just find myself lost for words. So that's cool, I guess. Here, I'll do something fun. I'll, um... Let's just make it only the, I can do this, let's make it pure, I'll turn off GI, and I'll turn off the reflections, if I can navigate my horrible code base, there we go, that's not what I wanted to do, what am I on, this is what I wanted to do, right, there we go, now you can see it's purely lit by the beads, which is kind of fun, uh, yep, now it runs pretty well, you know. It really just, yeah, it depends a lot. Pretty much, this handles really large light sources. Large dim light sources are pretty much the best thing for this engine. Small, bright light sources are pretty horrific. But that's why I have the important sampling stuff. But yeah, so you can see it all looks pretty solid overall. Um, yeah, just noisy. Um, so yeah, so one of the things I am cheating with, I am using temporal super sampling. I mean, who isn't nowadays? Um, it's anti-aliasing, but I'm doing it for super sampling instead. So without it, it's quite a lot more noisy, as you can see. Uh, I don't know how well it shows up on YouTube, mind you, but yeah. But of course, with the temporal anti-aliasing, it's fine. Super sampling, whatever. And you can see I can adjust it. Like if I make it really low, for example, you can see I get a noiseless image eventually, which looks pretty good. Um, you know, especially considering it's a voxelized representation of the scene, I think it looks pretty good, personally. But, you know, I'm gonna have to settle for this for real time. Uh, I would love to test this on an actual, on an actual GPU, what am I on? <laughs> on a much more powerful GPU, that'd be a lot of fun. Uh, something interesting about it is that it's actually ALU bound, which I found surprising. It's not memory bound. Um, I'm just rambling now, I don't know what I'm saying. I'm just gonna put everything back how it was. <laughs> I don't know what I'm on. Ah, uh, jeez. Just, uh, bear with me. There we go. And everything's back the way it was, nice and slow. And I can detach the cloth, and like that. Woo, look, now it 
it plops everywhere, and then I can break it apart into individual beads. Isn't this good stuff? Yes. Uh, I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I'm just gonna go. Alright. Uh, hopefully it's kinda interesting. Bye!